challenger creates a Sphinx message out of one of them, and then it's the job of the adversary to determine which one. Okay? It's the usual kind of like in CPA game that we see in cryptography. Okay, so these are the four properties, and we prove that Sphinx has all these four properties. We also prove a fifth property, indistinguishability of replies. So what we do here is we take the security game, where the adversary can construct two different messages and paths through the network, but he can also, at his option, choose one of them to be a forward message and one of them to be a reply message. And then if I make this corresponding Sphinx message and hand it to you, and you can't even tell whether it's a forward message or a reply message, then clearly we have indistinguishability of replies. Okay? I won't go into proof details here, of course. I'm pretty much out of time, so see the paper. So just to wrap up, we've presented Sphinx, a new mix format. It has all the nice properties we want, provably secure, compact, supporting indistinguishable replies, and is computationally cheap. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's kind of, you brought up one problem with separating out replies and uh, it's almost a comment, but uh, I'd just like to hear your take on this. Is, uh, when you said if you can separate out replies from original messages, this reduces the size of your anonymity groups. But given that a reply is tied to a source message, this would apply if there's actually additional weakness coming out of it, possibly. Uh, That's a very good observation, and there's been uh, recent work over the last three or so years on exactly that issue, that even if replies are indistinguishable, you still might be able to gain some information just from the fact that if Alice sent a message to Bob, and then Bob sends a message shortly thereafter, it has a higher than average chance of going to Alice, right? And so, yes, there is additional information that comes from traffic analysis at a higher level. But we don't want to uh, add to the adversary's ability by tagging messages as replies and forward messages. Exactly. Mike, push your button. this from like deployment how uh, far is it from, from deployment, deployment. So we, I mean, we what, have what is the main impediment to of course full, full deployment yeah so we have an implementation and we designed our implementation so that it will plug right into mix minion which as I said is a deployed network so all we need to do in kind of little scare bunny quotes here is get that uh, get that uh, implementation together and then convince the mix minion people to basically upgrade to Sphinx. How easy that will be remains to be seen. Luckily we know the mix minion people, they're good friends of ours, so uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you very much.